Hello my dear family members, I am very happy to announce that today onwards I will have been uploading most asked, most necessary coding questions which are required for all MNC test. I am giving guarantee if you solve all codes in this playlist then you will get 100% common question in exam. So let's start with the first question. So the first question will be on binary to decimal. This is most asked most common question which can be asked in any exam you are going to sit for okay so how to convert a binary number to decimal number so binary number only consists of 1 and 0 and decimal number consists of 0 to 9 all right so uh, we know how to convert a decimal number to binary but uh, do we know how to convert a binary number to decimal okay if you don't know this is okay so let's see how to convert a binary number to decimal so let's say this is your binary digits like 101 1, and this is the representation of binary representation of 5 right but we don't know uh, what is the uh, decimal form of this binary digits right so let's convert this into decimal okay so how do we convert that is so at first we have to uh, multiply 2 to the power 0 with this one then plus 2 to the power 1 uh, multiply this one and then again plus 2 to the power uh, 2 multiply this one and we'll add all the result right so uh, this 0 is incremental right so form uh, the formal formula is 2 to the power i multiply this digit right this digit and this digit then we'll add each time when we'll hover to the elements right so i hope you understood how to convert a binary number to decimal but in program how do we how do we approach to solve the problem okay so let's see so at first we'll initialize or take the input from the user the binary number and we'll go through all the digits of that binary number let's say 101 and we'll extract single digit at each time when we'll iterate through it and we'll initialize a sum variable for calculation like uh, uh, we'll have that calculation 2 to the power i uh, multiply that current digit right and we'll decrement that binary value by 1 at a time right and we'll after the loop we'll print the sum then we'll get our desired output okay so let's uh, go to the solution and after this solution i will give you a real time uh, exam question so that you can prepare more okay so let's go to the solution so uh, let me comment it out okay so uh, at first let's uh, initialize the variable so int uh, let's say bi binary is equal to 101 okay i am taking uh, from my side i am not taking user input okay so now go through all the elements right so while uh binary not equal to zero until or unless this number becomes zero will go through all the digit right and we ex will extract single digit at a time so let's uh declare a variable let's say int uh, remainder or you can say last digit okay so last digit is equal to binary mod 10 so this way we can extract the last digit right i mean uh, if we divide this by 10 then we'll get the remainder one so that one is the last digit right so this way we can extract the last digit okay so now what i have to do the i have to calculate that uh, using that formula so what's the formula that is uh, the last digit multiply 2 to the power 0 and then we'll uh, plus we'll add and we'll again multiply 2 to the power 1 plus the next digit right so this way we have to solve so at first we have to initialize a sum variable to sum that okay so in sum is equal to 0 and here sum is equal to sum plus previous sum plus 2 to the power i multiply this last digit right so last multiply 2 to the power i so in java we can have this uh, inbuilt function uh, math.pow 2 to the power let's say i so what is the i 
at first i should be 0 right so int i is equal to 0 okay at each time i will increment that value of i so that uh, it can be incremented like 1 2 3 at each iteration okay so uh, we have done our main parts L now just decrement the binary value by 1 at each time right so binary is equal to binary by 10 and this way we can decrement the binary value by 1 at each time so in the first iteration the last value will be 1 at first then here the sum value is equal to 0 and then last is 1 so 1 multiply 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1 so this value will be 1 at first then this value i mean the binary value becomes 1 0 in this iteration and i was 0 and i will be 1 and then uh, thus in the second iteration it will check if binary not equal to 0 yes binary not equal to 0 then uh, it will uh, extract the next digit that was uh, 0 so 0 and it will uh, sum that right so sum was 1 plus the current last digit is 0 0 multiply math dot pow that is 2 to the power uh, 1 so 2 to the power 1 means 2 multiply 0 plus 1 so in this case sorry in this case uh, 1 plus 0 will be 1 right and the binary value will be incremented by 1 again so it will be 1 now and i will be incremented by 1 again so this will become 2 and this iteration will go on continued right so now our task is to print the sum and will be okay now okay so system sorry, system dot out dot print ln and just print the sum will get the desired output okay so let's see So output, uh, what's the problem? That is uh, incompatible types possible lossy conversion from double taint. Okay, so math.pow actually it returns double. So we have to just uh, sum plus is equal to last a multiply math.pow then will be okay, right? Because uh, double uh, and integer is not compatible. Okay. So output should be 5 and as expected right so let's see for another input let's say 100 and this is the binary representation of 8 so let's see if this returns 8 or not okay so i hope it will be 8 and as expected so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes i used here so now i will show you a real time example real time question which was asked earlier I am very much requesting you to solve this problem and give the questions answer in the comment section and if you want a more question like this then please comment below and if you are interested in any materials then let me know in the comment section or you can ping me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.tf I hope you will get the reply very soon. Thank you for today's session.